Ingebrigtsen there, you saw, and that's Henrik Ingebrigtsen. He's declared for the 5,000 tomorrow, incidentally, and uh, so is Amdouni. And uh, watch out for Jake Whiteman. He's look at, he needs 3.36.20, actually, for the Olympic qualifying, so he'll be looking for a quick race here and get in the right place at the right time. But Philip Ingebrigtsen, the second of the Norwegian brothers, is there. Fermin Catcher, look at that, championship record. Well, that could be in a little bit of danger. Depends how this race is run. Bustov runs for Spain, there it is, Cesfe, Duma, Abduni, Sassenek, Emmanuel, Busotti, and then Philip Ingebrigtsen, and then Jake Whiteman for Great Britain. Mum and Dad will be keen on watching this, both internationals, of course. Three and three quarter laps of the track. <laughs> Second silver medalist two years ago. Let me make amends this time. Calvaro, the Frenchman, right on the back end of that. Uh, there's Duma of the Netherlands. Tesfai engaged to Jamal, I'm told now, twice world champion, 1500. The second in his heat, but the times, of course, not mattering. It was about um, qualification. <laughs> Step back, foot on the line. Naves. Uh, the Italian transferee from Mozambique in the middle. That's Cavallo, the Frenchman. European silver back in 2012. The best of 335-39 this season. Big field, 13. There'll be a lot of nudging in this, I would think, as we get into the race. And uh, as always, of course, they get underway as quickly as they can to get out of trouble. and. We shall see Carvalho wants to take it on right at the start. It'll be interesting to see how he prevails in the early stage of this race. The Abustov for Spain is there, Duma as well, and the Italian uh, Nevis also there on the outside. And uh, Abduni tucked right on. Now it's not quick. They've slowed it right down at the start, so we're not looking at times. There's Jake Whiteman on the left of his shot. It's a typical championship start to a race, this, but somebody's got to take this on. And uh, Jake Whiteman now in sixth place. The younger Ingebrigtsen is uh, second from the back, along with the uh, German. Tesfaye. And this race still to get underway, isn't it? Yeah, Henrik Ingebrigtsen, the champion four years ago. He's got Sitius Altius Fortius, the Olympic motto, embossed underneath his right bicep. Well, let's see if he lives up to that in this final. He did four years ago in Helsinki. He's a canny racer. And there he is, what? He's uh, five from the back, just in front of Lee Emanuel. Well, 63 seconds the first lap, that says the story, doesn't it? That tells the story. And Bustos, the European bronze medalist in 2012, was quite happy to sit up the front, getting out of trouble. Here comes Emmanuel, right from the back of uh, the Britain. Lee Emmanuel, and uh, getting out of trouble and into position to attack if he can. This sort of uh, pace, then anything can happen right at the back of the field. Tespe now moving forward into contention with uh, just over two laps to go in this 1500 metres. It's going to turn out to be an 800 metre race in the end. Inga Britz and Henrik Inderbrixen now in a good position on the outside, been about fifth or sixth place as they come in now. This crucial third lap, now who will take it on? Right at the back of there is uh, Debjani of Belgium now moving right on the outside. As they go into the back straight, Jake Whiteman keeping out of trouble, running wide very sensibly. But it tells you all you need to know about the pace when they are running as wide as they are deep. It's almost a square, isn't it, or a cube? 
They are just looking at one another, mindful not to get caught on the curb behind bodies when the move comes. This is like a game of track and field chess. Now, who is going to make the first move? Who is going to make the bid for gold? Lee Emanuel right in the front, but they're all lining up to take a pop at him. Yes, they are. Jake Whiteman's in a very good position, and he's moving now onto the shoulder of Tesfaye with one lap to go. Cavallo right up the front, and now the attack is on as they go in with uh, less than 400 metres vote. Cavallo is up there. So is Jake Whiteman, and Jake Whiteman's really attacking down that back straight with 300 metres to go. The Dutchman behind him is Dumas. Whiteman really attacking, and Dumas on the inside, and Tesfaye. And behind Tesfaye is Dumas, and then the younger Ingebrigtsen, and Henrik Ingebrigtsen and is off the pace at the moment and I think Whiteman is going to attack Cavallo he is and this is a good run by the Briton Tess Bay in second place at the moment as they come off the bend and here comes Duma of the Netherlands right on the outside Cavallo in third then the younger into Britson in fourth place and Henrik Ingebrigtsen on the inside Cavallo is there here comes Ingebrigtsen it's the younger one it's not the one it's Philippe Ingebrigtsen and here comes the Spaniard Bustos to take second and uh, Henrik Ingrid Britson gets there for third place. I tell you what, what about that? Jake Whiteman had it all set up, didn't he? And the Inga Britsons have taken two of the medals. Wow, what about that? I just thought well, he's surprised because at the end of the day he wasn't supposed to do that. And Dumas had a good run, and they all attacked. Jake Whiteman did nothing wrong. You have to say he did nothing wrong at all. But Philip Ingebrigtsen is the European champion. He says, how on earth did I do that, brother? How did I do that? What a family they are. But to uh, a, a bronze this time for Henrik, a silver last time. But Philip, he says, the, is it, well, he's the younger brother. He's only 23. He won his heat, though, in 340. And the time, insignificant. And Duma very disappointed because he was fourth, just out of the medals. Now, this, this was the point. Emmanuel looked good. Whiteman on the left. And Tesfe looked good. Cavallo had done a lot of the work up front. Abdumi never really had a space to get through. Now, Whiteman did well here. Duma, this was the attack coming from Duma. And look how far Inga Britson is behind. He's now, what, four or five metres behind. Duma must have thought he'd got this. Then Philip Inga Britson opens up the throttle. And look at this. Goes right the way through. Henrik uh, comes through, along with Bustos, to take uh, the three medals. Cavallo looks across and he knows that he's lost out because he was in fourth, fifth place. Well, that was a really good, interesting final indeed and a very, very surprised winner. And a surprise, and he's as surprised as we are. Well, did you see that little look? He took over his shoulder with 80 metres to go. He put his foot down. He made his break. And it was a little look over the shoulder as if to say, where are you, brother? He, he can't believe it. He can't, he can't believe it. Dimitri Bascu will have Belosian with me from France. Gold.